So that morning, or afternoon rather, we went to our engagement party. Um, and then it was about four o'clock and we, it was done and we're like, let's go golfing. We figured we could sneak in a nine hole round really quick. We were on the ninth hole and we saw this buck and two doe like in the tree line. And so we started like cooing and calling at them to come to us. And the buck came to us like a not dog. Not thinking they were gonna come Like not thinking us. they would come. Like <laughs> we do that to all animals because we love animals. He came like a dog, like literally came when called like a dog, which was, Unreal. We were kind of nervous at first. We're like, oh my God, what do we just do? Like, you know what I mean? If you see an animal that is habituated like that, it's, it's just important to try to give them some space and, and try to observe, you know, social distancing with, with wild animals because we, we do have concerns that there, there might be a slight trigger that turns them from uh, docile to aggressive. Um, we started petting him and like literally he was kissing our hands. Make the putt. We gotta get the ball. <laughs> we gotta get the ball. Maybe he wants to play with it. You wanna play with the ball? I wish I had it so I could toss it. No. Okay, grab it. He wants to. father passed away um, a little over three years ago and he comes to us all the time and yeah. like butterflies and birds and like it's hard to explain but you just know it and it's a lot of times on the golf course. and a lot of times on the golf course yeah and so like um I, we kind of thought that maybe the deer was him too and just everything that's going on right now it was like a super cool experience for us mm -hmm.